Morning all, hope you're well. If I was to say to you that I believe many of us are using the term mental health illness as a cloak for uh, an ability to take responsibility and accountability for a wrong decision or something that we've done in our past that is actually really the core reason that we're experiencing such things as depression, anxiety um, and the reason why our lives are not where they should be. Now, where I'm going with this is that mental health, mental health illness is very much a thing that's in our, uh, in society, it's in our communities, it's, it's, it's worldwide, it's a thing that's fast affecting our families, our loved ones and the people around us. Now, the point I'm trying to make with this, with this uh, video is that I feel that the resources that we have available are, are very few. We've definitely got um, a lack of resource in helping the people that really need the help, the ones that really are struggling with mental health illness. Now, I believe that the system is being clogged up with cases that aren't genuine. Um, and I think, i.e. cases like myself, I think I can take responsibility. I'm able now to be accountable for decisions that I've made in the past that led me to a place where I experienced the, the real heights of depression and anxiousness. And, you know, I put myself in a situation where people didn't want to be around me, um, which made me feel lonely, which made me feel isolated. But the point I'm trying to make is I think I'd urge those of you out there before you run straight to the hills with the idea that you've got um, severe mental health issues is, is to just stand still and be able to be accountable for and take responsibility for things that you may have done in the past that might actually really be the reason that you're experiencing what you're experiencing because it's taken me a long time really to be able to stand back on this one and, and, and realise it and I think I've always said this in the YouTube channel that I run I've always said that acknowledgement of the problem is the beginning of your journey and I think you have to be able to acknowledge that problem and I think if, if you're somebody that's abused drink and drugs as I have I think you've got to be able to take um, responsibility for that and by but by ignoring that and just thinking that that's just going to go away and that hasn't had in any way an effect on, on your mental health, then, you know, you're a fool and your journey doesn't begin. You have to be able to accept responsibility for those things. Take accountability and that's when your journey begins. But uh, I'd urge you, you know, mental health illness is a term really that needs to be reserved for those that need it. And I think um, we've got to be able to go backwards and just stop... And, and, and reflect on, on all things and make sure that, you know, we are taking responsibility for those wrong decisions we've made in the past and dealing with them in an adult, proactive way so as not to be clogging up the system because I myself have seen it day by day. You know, I get messages from people through the YouTube channel and, then they're, you know, many people are sort of trying to convince me that, they you know, that they, they're, they're, they're in, in real need of, 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 of help. Uh, through the mental health system um, but in actual fact it usually takes me a little while to get to the core of of uh, the background of, of what's gone on I mean obviously trauma and bad experiences as, as it has been in my life um, is very much um, a catalyst for experiencing you know some serious mental health um, issues that go on and, and manifest themselves um, in later on in your life but you know if, if it's if, if it's abusive drink and drugs um, if it's a wrong decision you've made, I'd urge you to, you know, deal with that first, um, not hide it away and be able to talk about it because that there then um, is is really what, what what this conversation is all about. But yeah, take it easy. I hope you're doing well. Speak to you soon. Bye.